Hey, what's going on everybody? Power Strike Sheet here. Hope all my dudes are having a great day. Today I'm working on a 2005 Ford F250 Power Stroke 6 liter diesel. It's the Hardy Davidson edition. Uh, customer's concern is that the, well he says he's got an oil leak, but he says that that never really bothered him. The concern is that he's got uh comes up on this gauge saying low oil pressure which you see there and uh, I asked him if his uh, oil pressure gauge was working and it was not he did not notice that until I asked him that but no it's not as you can see it's below it should be right now it should already be on so I'm gonna pull codes real quick uh, then check it out uh, I have a feeling I know what it is. It's kind of a common concern on these. The oil sending unit or oil pressure switch, whatever you guys want to call it, is typically what's failing. Oil starts to pour out through the sensor. Uh, and let me just pull codes and I'll let you guys know what I find and then I'll let you guys know what I see when I check under the hood. All right, I don't know how great you guys can see there, but he's got a few codes going on. He's got the number two contribution balance fault. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention if it was running a little bit rough or not. It sounds like it might have been, might not have been, who knows. Let's see, uh, it's got a crankshaft position sensor code, which usually sometimes if a vehicle stalls or cranks out, that's gonna be a ghost code, so I wouldn't worry too much about that yet. And then he's got some glow plug codes. Uh, looks like they're on both banks. Uh, could be glow plugs. I mean, they're maintenance issues. He's got 139, 130-something thousand miles on this thing. Uh, could be a module. Could be wiring. Uh, but again, those aren't really what his issue is. And he's got an injector control pressure too low. That could be related to what we're talking about. It's not the code I was looking for, but we'll see right now uh, as I look under the hood and see what I'm looking for. All right, give me a sec. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, this is the, I told you guys earlier, the 05 Hardy Davidson 6 liter. To do the oil sending unit, oil pressure switch, you know, I got a standard ignition part. You did not want to get an Autocraft one, so that's fine. And there's not a lot to it. Uh, these are the tools that I'm going to use. I got the two, I'm probably only going to need one of them, but just in case. Uh, 10 millimeter ratchet wrench to disconnect the feed tube from the turbo. Uh, and in case that, that feed tube is still in the way and I have to take it completely out, I really only need the ratchet, the extension, and an 8mm socket to get the feed tube out. But this is just easier to use that whole set. That set, by the way, is a kick-ass set that my good friend Pat Paulson sent me. Uh, it's perfect. It's in foam. It's easy to make sure that what I have, that I have everything when I leave. Uh, it's a great set. I've been using it a lot on side work. Only thing I wish is it did, that it didn't have skips. Skips a couple of socket numbers, but you know what? For the most part, it's got the ones I need. Uh, another ratchet. That Pat Paulson sent me, as a matter of fact, a Tony ratchet. Then uh, a light, in case it gets dark, as you can see, it's kind of getting dark. A pair of gloves, some rags. Of course, can't do anything without that baby. <laughs> and then to clear the codes after is my Snap-on scanner. All right. Uh, and I brought everything in a... Uh, the wall bag and there's my can of brake cleaner that I'm going to clean it up with. Alright, let me get at this and then I will uh, walk you guys through it. Alright guys, we're back on top of this uh, 6 -0. Uh You guys can see the sensor is down in that area. I can't see I'm looking flat, but it's down there. You guys saw it earlier. You guys can see it right there. Perfectly clear. Soaked with oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 
this feed line. I'm going to take it off of the turbo. There's two tens on top. If you look through the grate, you can see. Uh, it's hard to tell, but there's a ten right there. And then there's another ten on the other side of it right there. I'm going to take those two tens off and then I'll slide the, the feed tube out of the way, I hope. And that'll give me enough access. Um, then if, I, if not, there's that eight millimeter down there. And like I was saying, if not, I'll just take that eight millimeter and I'll pull it out and I'll get the whole thing out of the way. That's no big deal. Then I brought the one and one sixteenth size socket uh, for the sensor itself. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, give me a second. All right, so you can see I have the new one installed. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to be back. I explained to the customers, you can see that wire with the orange well the connector with the orange uh that's to keep water and corrosion out of there you can see that sticking out and you can see all the bare wire i am gonna tape that up with some tape uh, you can buy a connector kit for this it costs about i think 90 bucks to get the connector um and i would i recommend replacing it uh right now he wants to see how it goes without replacing it first <laughs> if it needs it then we'll do it uh i have a feeling i'll be back here tomorrow but uh we'll see what happens uh anyways that's the new sensor in there this was the sensor that i took out if you look in there you can see that oil was coming through the inside of the sensor and it was leaking on the outside of the sensor so this thing was blown out pretty good these things are pretty tough man i bet you that wire is going to work at least for a while but I eventually that's going to have to make get repaired as well so let me get this on. I'll get this started. I'll clear some codes and I will give you guys a summary of what I did. Quick tip. This is not a big, huge job. Um, but uh, I brought the bare minimal tools. I did not bring anything extra. I forgot stuff. The only magnet I have is on the bottom of this. I don't think that will fit down there in case I drop my 8mm bolt. So a quick tip. My buddy smoking some cigarettes. I got some of the wrap off of his... Uh, Cigarette box. cigarette box and i put it in my eight millimeter bolt to hold my nut <laughs> my bolt i'm sorry not my nut uh, i hold my old nuts but uh <laughs> but this will hold my bolt just fine all right <laughs> quick dip but all right old school style shade tree <laughs> and there you can see i will take it off but the <laughs> aluminum foil from my friend's cigarette pack and it worked it did not drop the socket you can see the exposed wire just got to tape that up and we are good to go. Uh, I will give you the summary again. I just wanted to show you a couple tips, a couple things real quick. All right, there you guys can see the gauge is now where it's supposed to be with the, with the truck running. Uh, doors are open, but you see before even with doors open, it would go back and say that the low oil pressure, but we no longer have low, low oil pressure sign. Uh, warning coming on so we'll call this good and be done with it and I'll go collect some money from the customer and tell them that we're gonna need to put a uh, connector on there it's, I believe it's a one wire connector I probably charge them a half hour labor it probably take me you know 10 minutes to do it but all right guys so here's my summary of, of the repair uh, this is supposed to be to show you guys how we diagnose something and, and how, what, what fix the concern. So this, like I said, it's a 2005 Harley Davidson 6.0 liter oil power stroke diesel. The customer called me, he said he had a low oil pressure message on his instrument cluster and that that was his concern. I, when he called me, I asked him, all right, does your gauge work on, on the dash? And he says, uh, let me check, and it did not. And then I asked him if he had an oil leak and he said he did. So in my head, I was already thinking, all right, cool. So I come to see him, I get his keys, and first thing I gotta do to, to I gotta verify concern. So I go and I showed you guys that the message was coming on, and we had no, no oil pressure. Concern verified, right? Because you need to be able to verify concern. I also saw that it does have an oil leak. I pulled codes, he had some glow plug codes, which are still in the vehicle, he was on to fix it this time, uh, but he had a couple of, uh, a code for a cylinder, cylinder contribution. I wasn't sure if it was missing or not. I haven't heard it miss yet, so it might be around the misfire. Maybe coming back, we'll see. And uh, it's also got, had a code for a oil pressure code. That code is now gone. 
because I cleared the codes after the repair. Uh, when I did my visual inspection, uh, I went to, because the concern was oil pressure, I went to the oil pressure switch or oil sending unit. I looked at it, I verified that it was leaking oil. So I was like, all right, cool, that's, that's, my, that's my issue. Uh, I replaced the, the sensor. You know, I used the aftermarket part snap on scanner and a minimal 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 bank of tools it took me to come and do this job i walked it through it uh, i removed the uh, turbo feed tube uh the sensor the connector i showed you guys the beat up connector i told you guys that they need to get fixed but after the repair was done i showed you guys a trick you know to put a you to not lose a nut or a bolt um and then i went and i cleared the codes i showed you that the gauge no longer said low, low oil pressure and I also showed you that the gauge I'm sorry the instrument cluster no longer said low oil pressure and the gauge now works all right so that, that repair is concerned I'm a little bit worried about that connector um, but it's working now we can come back and fix it if it, if it something happens later but this is my video on how I diagnose something how I fixed it what it took to fix it and you know t I was on the phone for two phone calls for about two minutes, talked to the guy for about five minutes, uh, looked at it for about five minutes, and then I worked on it for about a half hour, roughly half hour, maybe four minutes. Uh, I, I didn't bring enough tools, a couple things I should have brought, but fortunately I'm capable and I'm, you know, resourceful. I was able to do things because I forgot like a pair of pliers and a couple other small, small tools, but I'm resourceful enough where I can get stuff done. Uh, but the video is now over. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Jude Santa Cruz. I'm doing this video for text talking shop uh, please remember to like comment share subscribe and to ring that bell until next time keep on keeping on power stroke jude for text talking shop out